in uh, this song, which is well known, and it's Bandu Sangya, the song we usually sing. That song when we come to Govindaji, both in Vrindavan and in Kamyaman. So, Bandu Sangya, Jadika, Rangapari, If you want to stay in the company of your friends, family and friends and enjoy life, material life, never come to Vrindavan. Never come to Mathura. Even if you come to Mathura, never come to Vrindavan. Even if you come to Vrindavan, oh, never come to the Zanko, Jamuna, to Keshigat, where Krishna is defeated, Keshigiman. And even if you come to Keshigat, never go to Govindaji. Why? Govinda Vigraha Dari Tathaya Chana Hari Naya Nevan Kiva Drishti Munya Manda Haas Kiva Tripanga Vithaam Bhakta Samujalashya Nava Kishalaya Shobha Shri Ange Prakash Govinda Vigraha Dari You will see the wonderful Vigraha The deity of Govinda there Tathaya Chana Hari Nayanayi Pankhi Mantrishti Munkya Manda Haas by his saddle and gloves, his wonderful smile, he will attract your heart forever. Kivatri Panga Matham Vatasuna Dvalashyam by his wonderful form. Kivatri Panga means he is bent in three places. He will, by his Samjita Shyam, by his brilliantly cultured dark complexion you will attract you forever. You will never be able to think of anyone else in this world. Nava Kishala Yashoka Sri Yangi Prakash you will attract you. Adhari Vamsitika Anathina Mulatha Shiki Chura Kevathari Kodana Vishwas Adhari Vamsitika by this sweet flute playing which is Anathena Mulatha, which is the Mulatha of the root cause of all uh, madness. He will attract you. He will make you a madman. She gives you that you are Corona Vishwas. This is Shikiki Chudda. Shikiki Chudda. This um, tricky uh, boy who is playing his flute. Oh, never trust him. Never trust him. He's completely unreliable. Call on Avishwas. Don't have any faith in him because he will cheat you. He will steal your heart. Semoti naene nere, kero nami kare kire, samsari kire kire, ayasapa nash. When you see his wonderful form, his wonderful eyes, his wonderful smile, kero nami kare kire, you will not be able to return home. You will never want to return home because your heart will be completely stolen. So, Shilu Gurudev is saying that I am putting your heart in my pocket. So, this is the way Krishna does. He is putting our hearts in his pocket and will want to be able to return home if we are sincere. We are sincerely following the path. Samsari Dvita Jego Vaisa Banaj all our samsara duties, all our samsara attachments in this world, in samsara, in material life, will vanish forever. We will not remember our own and our relatives. May one of all others, this is my great fear, he is saying, I'm fearful of this. Oh, that's quite ironical. Garkiri Vibhadabhari, Jayanakwadya Samsari, Madhuraya Kishikirtan. So never go to Mathura. If you come to Mathura, never come to Vrindavan. And even if you come to Vrindavan, never go to the bank of Jamuna. If you even come to the bank of Jamuna, oh, never go to the temple of Vrindaji. Because that's that thief, that um, friendly stealer of your heart, so never give your heart back. So that is quite ironical 
Anyway, um, so we're talking about how about these desire, so just so thoughts about desire. But back to what you guys, what you guys did too much, was requesting to speak about. In Kamya Bhatti, the Pandava stayed there for some time. They stayed there when they were in exile into the forest. So there is a, two stories that happened in that place, in Kamya Bhatti, where we visited today. Once upon a time, uh, the Pandavas that were there in the forest, they were living, having their normal life. And Narasa Rishi, he came. Narasa Rishi, he's, um, he's famous for causing problems. Like we have Narasa Rishi Ashram, we can see it's Ashram that should have been They have these different, like up here you have these pastimes. They have all the different pastimes of Narasa Rishi. And one of them, Rumini, is pulling Krishna chariots. Another one, Krishna has to rub sweet rice over his whole body. Another one, all these different problems are caused by, by, by Narasa Rishi. He comes from Shiva, and he's kind of that's part of his table. So he came to the house of the Pandavas when they had just finished lunch, they had just finished Prashadam, with 10,000 disciples. And said, I have come in daily culture from Sadhana, then Narasa must automatically leave and take care of. So he said, I'm coming to be my, be my disciples. We're going to go take a bath in the river, and once we take a bath in the river, we'll come back and eat. But they were in the forest, they had nothing to cook. What they used to eat was um, droplings out of pots, and this pot was given by the sun god. Okay. Yes, okay. It's good to have the marsh and they help you out and you mess up or something. So, um, she had a pot which was given her food by the sun god that had a special power that however many times they served from that pot, um, it would be unlimited, it would fill, till the time when Drupadi ate. Once Drupadi ate, then the pot would get no more prashad. So they had already eaten, Drupadi had already eaten, so they weren't able to use their secret weapon, <laughs> their, their pot for feeding, for feeding all, uh, all the disciples. So they did not know, know what to do. So Drupadi Devi, she began to pray, Hey Krishna, Hey Krishna, Hey Krishna, please, um, you help us. Because Krishna is always there to help us go to this. Now I am not fit for a city, as described by Bhagavad Gita, that I preserve what they have, and I carry what they lack. My devotee never perishes. So many times Krishna is saying, like we talked about the glory of entering into Bhakti is Shramavati. Just to be able to start the process of bhakti, one has to be shagnaket, or be completely surrendered. This surrender has six limbs, accepting what is favorable, rejecting what is unfavorable, accepting Krishna as your protector, and accepting Krishna as your holy maintainer, Humility and complete surrender. But uh, so there is accepting Krishna as your only container and protector. So you imagine such a Vaishnava like Vaishnavi, like Drogadi. She had a very personal, sweet relationship with Krishna. Krishna used to flirt with her sometimes, very sweet relationship with God. So definitely she was her Nagati, so she began to pray. So we could also learn how to pray. Krishna, you please come and help. Krishna is name or not different. So when a pure Vaishnava remembers Krishna, like when Gurudev chants his Gaiji Mantra to remember, then Krishna appears ready in front. So when she told the Devi, remember she Krishna, Krishna came. They are immediately said, what's the problem? And then she said, well, the problem is Dharma says, don't tell me these things, I'm hungry, feed me now. I said, now you're adding more to the problem. I called you here to come to help me out. And you're adding more to the problem by saying feed you as well. Now I have 10,002 people to feed. There was 10,000 disciples, there was Rishi and Krishna. Then Krishna said, bring me the pot. She said it then, she said, bring me the pot. Then Krishna uh, brought the pot, and on the side of the pot, he saw that there was some shot or some stinging, was still there. Krishna took this, and burped, and said, ah, very good. Now I'm completely satisfied. As described in the latest scripture, it says, If no one does not have so much in the name of the Tantra, it says, that if you put water on the roots of the tree, automatically all the leaves and, and branches are nourished. If you put food in the sky, the whole body is nourished. So in the same way, by serving Krishna, all other duties are performed. 
everything like the name of Jesus and part of God and I'm going to take your heart and touch them and touch them. So give up all the rights of religion. Give up all your duty and anything that you put your sugar should do and just completely surrender our duty. Then automatically everything else will be taken care of. So Sri Krishna, um, he was satisfied by the love of his devotees. So automatically all the um, the same day called the disciples of the Rasa Rishi who were in the river, they became very full. When Rasa Nanda Prabhu was explaining this Gitala, uh, Kapish Ramahade, he said there was something that became very, very big and swelled. Very big and became fat. We were looking at what happened in the middle of the hill, and we were seeing the two, and they were very full, and they had no space to eat one Hashwana. Hashwana is a, a digestive, like black salt digestive. So you wouldn't even have space to eat one of those that are so full. I'm quoting Rasa Nanda Prabhu. So, uh, so then they thought, oh my gosh, we're so full, we can't eat anything. And Krishna said, me, you take your club and go call them, go shout for the Rishi to come and for Prashad. So then the community they were full and they started being a puppy, they struck me, but come for Prashad, we prepared a huge feast. They thought, all that feast is going to go to waste, we're not going to be able to eat, and they immediately hit them, ran away. So in that way, Krishna protected his devotees. Um, because God does that, Krishna does that. Another time that that happened with the Pandavas in, in Kamyaman was they were thirsty one time and Yudhisthira Maharaj sent um, his brothers to go get water. He sent first for the Dima, the older of his next oldest um, the brothers under him. In age. He said, he must go find some water. And they found a sarovar that was found a lake, which is there in Kamyama, which was had very beautiful, sweet, fresh water. So he went to home, he was thirsty and something, and then he went to drink. And a young shot here, um, a young shot here in the form of a grain. That, and said, before you drink this water, you please answer my four questions. And Bhima, Shachar, and his big, big ego, this is great, what his young Shachar said to me, I can destroy the whole world, and Bhima, strong, you know, super powerful. And he, he came more, and he went, and he, when he drank the water, he made me feel unconscious. He fell down unconscious. So the brothers were waiting to get very full, the front of his return, when will he go we'll return to uh, bring water? No love. So, uh, you just give him a sense, or you? Same thing happened with Arjun, said, what, well, you don't boss me around saying I can answer your question, okay, let's drink some water. And as soon as he took the water, he fell unconscious. Same thing with the Kula, and same thing with Sahadi. So then Yudhisthira Maharaj did not have his brothers anymore, so he went himself to find out what had happened. And he saw there, dead or right dead, unconscious, all his brothers were there. He saw the water, he went to drink, and the brain, the Yaksha, also stopped him and said, first answer my four questions. You just hear Maharaj being the son of Dharmaraj. He's Dharmaraj himself, but he's also the son of Yamaraj. So he's, he's uh, considered to be the embodiment of karma, the religious principles. So you just hear Maharaj, he said, okay, I'll answer your questions. What are your questions? There was about 100 questions, a lot of questions were asked, but there was four main questions. So the first question, or one of the four main questions was, um, what's the news? What's up? What's the news? <laughs> what, what's, the, what, what's going on? And the answer Mr. Maharaj gave was that there's the sun and there's this, this material world. This material world is like a Quran, or it's like a box. And in this pot, the vegetable inside the pot are all the living entities, which is all of us, the conditioned souls, trying to enjoy, trying to satisfy and fulfill their desires. But what's happening to them? They're inside the pot and they're just being cooked alive. They're being cooked and trying to enjoy it only, suffering is coming. Like we hear this uh, about the living, um, when we talk about Gena Prasura, there's many different examples of the donkey. The donkey being the body of ignorance, which is us. Always going to try to enjoy the female donkey, and then donkeys, the female donkey, yes? Or, <laughs> the female donkey is kicking in the face. They're still going, still going. 
So this is our situation in this world. We're trying to enjoy it, but all that's happening is that we're being burnt. We're being burnt. So I'm going to be cooked and tired this material existence by the three modes of material nature and desires. Other question was, um, what is the most amazing thing? Can I start jump? He said that everywhere around, wherever we look, there is death everywhere. I remember when um, one of our brahmacharis left his body, Godbrother Shirobure in Mathura, a college uncle, who we went and we took him to the, to the burning dock in Mathura. And we were there just for two hours to burn him. And dead bodies were just coming, coming, coming continuously. The fires never go out. Because every second there's only someone dying. Yeah, I remember one, one story where it says a sadhu, a saint, he would go to the mountain and take the connecting door to door. Like, a uh, chief of fiction writer doesn't take off, we also don't take off, and it is a, it's the culture, this is for many. You go door to door. And the reason why the question is go connecting door to door is so people have a chance and an opportunity to serve, and so they can give their association. So this saint was going around begging door to door, and he came to a house where the lady in the house was really sad. She was crying so much and said, how can you come and ask for Diksha now? My son just died. And he said, well, this is the natural case of, this is the natural um, situation of the world. Whatever is just a city, go from the to go from the to Whatever is born is sure to die. Everything is there. Then she said, well, please, you're a sadhu, you have some much to do something to bring them back to life. Then he said, okay, I'll bring you back to life, but I need one thing to be able to do this. I need some rice. But this rice has to come from the house of somebody who has never had anybody die in their house. She said, okay, no problem, she went to the next door neighbor and said, I didn't want to die in my house yet two weeks ago, my brother died. Then went to the other neighbor, and, and also someone had died. Also, and she went through the whole town, the whole city, and she found out that in every house there had been someone who had died, and some family relative. She, by the mercy of the Vaishnava, and by this experience, she realized that this is a natural thing. Whatever is born, get this certain. And just because my son died, this is not anything amazing. So when Sri Vishnu Maharaj was explaining, what is the most amazing thing? Is that death is everywhere, it's a natural part of being. What is the scientific case when they say? Um, being alive in an unnatural state. Naturally, everything's working towards destruction or towards chaos. To keep things in order is, is, um, is unnatural. But what do we think? We have the ego, we have the conception in our minds that I will never die. Whenever we make a decision, we're thinking that I will live eternally. Why should we go to that one day? But it's not a reality in front of us. Like Shri Gurudev says, if you want to see the value of anything, simply just put death behind it. When death is behind it, you can see how valuable this is. So when we're making decisions in our life, if we're making decisions that have temporary results that don't take into consideration death, it means that we're blind to the fact that you can die in any second. Then you have to come to the life, like a, a drop of water, a lotus of sleep, shake it, any second will fall off. Any second you can die. Nobody wants to die, nobody wants to die, but everybody dies. But we think that will never die. So this is the most amazing thing. Then he asked, uh, what, uh, who is happy? in this world. And he said, the person who is happy is the person who has no debts. And the person who lives in his own lands. No reason has to have debts, no problem, that person is happy. But why should I explain that? What does this mean? Automatically, when we're born into this world, we are born with debts. It explains that the debt that we have to our mother, it will take a seven lifetime to be able to pay back that debt. The suffering that the, 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 the pains that the mother has to go through to keep the baby in the womb, to give birth, to give breast milk, to grow up, to take care, to protect the child. Everything that a mother does for us, it takes us seven lifetimes to repay. And then we're indebted to society, we're indebted to our family, we're indebted to our friends. One eternal principle is naturally debts are there. 
So if we exist in this world trying to enjoy, and trying to live a moral life, even trying to get perfectly, we will always be in debt, and therefore never happy. The process by which we can get rid of that is again by going to the root or going to the source. If we satisfy Sri Krishna by putting water on the roots of the tree, if we satisfy Sri Krishna and, and have a loving relationship with him, then automatically all other deaths are taken care of. So in the writing she just gave a lot of saying that one who becomes a Vaishnava, one who manifests their internal struggle, their potential, is able to love God to the maximum, then that person is, can be happy. Another thing is, um, he said a person who is in his own madness. But we know that this world is temporary. This world is not our home, even if we're born in any specific country. Our true home, our true family, I remember one Vaishnava explaining very recently that we're all coming into this world like orphans. We're looking for cool love me. Where can I have a relationship? How can I be happy? But actually we're alone and we're like a fish out of water. But our family that's waiting for us is the family of Jesus and Mahaprabhu. Papa Prajana Kore Lurkoi. The old Prajana, this one will give your mercy that can enter into the family of God and Krishna in the spiritual world. So you discover how much is explaining that if you want to be happy, then by becoming a pure devotee and entering into the spiritual world, this is how we'll be happy. And the third question is, what is the path? What is the process? And he explained Mahajana Pratina Simakta that the path, the path of the process by which we follow is the, the line or the path of the Mahajans or the perfected beings, the pure devotees. That we hear from the song of Sri Ramakrishna, um, uh, um, uh, that has fallen in your footsteps. The path of Ram Rasamana Prabhu was made the other day, then the path yesterday. That the path of Bhakti is so um, delicate, it's like shaving. You slip with the hand and you get cut. So it's very important to always be under guidance. Only one who is always being explained that when we're under the guidance of falling in the path of protected souls, of shiksha and diksha gurus, then that is the path. So, uh, yeah, sorry, I finished the topic. Let's have a look at the second part of the Thank you. 
का समय के प्रभाव और अनेकों प्रकार की समस्या समय के नाते वो स्थान हम लोग दर्शन करते हैं जो ज्योति की रोशनियां पड़ा इससे रात में अनेकों स्थान भी आते हैं जैसे हम लोग आने के बाद दिखाओ तो वो करके आओ इस पर दिख का है अल्पमाला जी ने एक सत्य के लिए उन्होंने निर्देशन किया ये छठी तरह से देना वाली कौन कौन से इस समय पर भगवान का देना लगाया था पता उस दिन का भगवान इस यह पर अवस्था हुई इसलिए देना लगाया यहाँ पर उन्होंने कुछ दिनों इस समय पर बड़ा बड़ा जो बड़ा जो है वह अवस्था इसे इसकी कहा जाते हैं दिखमुर की कहा यहां पर कृष्णा अत्यंत सुंदर मधुर लिखा दी ये जानवर कृष्ण स्वयं वो जगह के समय और उस बाबुल के द्वारा बैरों की गए प्रतीत करते थे और विशेष करके कभी भी कृष्णा बंसी आदि के बंस आदि के द्वारा गोपिया गोपियों के भी आवाहन करके गुलाबी को पर अनेक प्रकार के प्रभाव के लिए गुलाब गुलाब अभी भी करते थे क्योंकि जो बयान करता है कृष्ण ने कहा कि ये ही सुंदर रूप में उसको छाप दो ये सजा अनेक प्रकार के सामान के उत्सव और उन जो आदि भी प्रस्तुत करके जब हमारा भाव कृष्ण की अनेक प्रकार के उत्सव को दिखा दो जिसमें कृष्ण स्वयं गोविंद आनंद के द्वारा राधा जी गोविंद की दीप को जो है जब लज्जा को भी दिखा दिया था कि कौन सी बाधा कहती है अथा कौन सी दरी कहती है ये राधा जी गोविंद अपने लज्जा धन जो मां इसको भी टैग दे करके कृष्ण के निकट पहुंच जाते क्योंकि गोविंद की असमर्थ ऐसे अपन जब खुद गोमसी की काम जिसके गोमसी की काम सुन करके संसार में ऐसे कोई चीज है जो कृष्ण का सभी करते हैं आज प्रसाद को देखो और आज प्रसाद को देखो सुखदेव को स्वामी पार्टी और प्रसाद को देखो आज प्रसाद को देखो और आज प्रसाद को देखो सुखदेव को स्वामी पार्टी और प्रसाद को देखो आज प्रसाद को देखो और आज समस्त जीव विचार जीव समूह में आप उसके लिए बोल रहे हैं बोल दिया तुम्हारे लिए नौकरों का नाम भी प्रमो बोल दिया बोल दिया तुम्हारे लिए नौकरों का नाम भी प्रमो वो मैंने कहा दिया मैंने कुछ इस तरह तुम्हारे लिए भी चिपचिपा आ रही और भैया हिरण आ रही है वो इसके लिए बेटू था इस तरह के गोविंद के पास आए इसलिए गोविंद के गोविंद ने ऐसे सुंदर जिस गोविंद ने सुंदर के साथ मनी पूजा जो मनमोहन की पंक्ति धनी सुंदर के सभी की चित्त मनी इसलिए ये पर उसी स्थान को भी बजरंग नाम ने एक नाम दे दिया है और जिसके भी त्रिता जी की भी कहीं इस प्रकार से वर्णन करते हैं भगवान रामचंद्र जैसे लक्ष्मण के द्वारा गुजरे हुए इस मुद्रा नगर को बचाया था क्योंकि उस समय मुद्रा नगर मुद्रा में लवरांश आकुल बचाया गया था और उसी उत्कृष्ट लोगों ने अजोधा में जाकर के भगवान रामचंद्र के निकट जब प्रार्थना की भगवान रामचंद्र शत्रुघ्न को भेजा और वहां समय शत्रुघ्न जी इस मुद्रा में आकर के और राम के बहुत करके मुद्रा नगर को बैठा उसी प्रकार भरत जी श्री यमराज ने आकर के अपने सुंदर ये नगर में बैठाया जिसके आज तक भी उस स्थान के नाम है हम लोग भी 
जब आज इस और इसके बाद रसोई इस ब्रश में आज आगे और ब्रश में आगे के सुख में एक नंबर बैठ गया इसके बाद होता है देखो रसोई जी के द्वारा कुछ समय पर इस तरह भी मंदिर की समय बहाव के कारण हम लोग इस बात पर नहीं गए और सामने हम लोग जाते हैं सुंदर रूप से और मंदिर भी है और रसन जी के सुंदर विग्रह भी है इसलिए इस काम में ना विद्रोह में भी रखा गया है रसन जी रसन का प्रसिद्ध मंदिर और यह बहुत सुंदर भी पुत्र कृष्ण मंदिर साक्षी कुमार जी का मंदिर रूप सागर आदि प्रसिद्ध स्थल है जहां पर रजाकर की बड़ा भी होता है और इससे आगे होकर के हम लोग भी निकल करके आ गए जहां पर काफी का बहुत सुंदर स्थान के प्रश्न ऐसे ही पाए जहां जहां पर जाए अपने आप जाए कृष्ण लाल की जीवन हो जाए इसे तो बहुत सुंदर स्थान का ये सब छोड़ दो कहीं नहीं जाऊं ये सब छोड़ दो क्यों प्रश्न ऐसे भाजपा जो भूमि है जहां पर भी जाए राधा कृष्ण की 